Hello, I'm Dr. Jean Cirillo. I'm a practicing psychologist in New York. Today we're going to talk about acting out behaviors of gifted kids in class. We all know that it can be a real challenge to raise or to teach a gifted child sometimes even more difficult than a special ed child because they ask a lot of questions. What happens is often gifted kids are seen as being socially awkward, not because their social skills are so poor, but because they're a lot more developed intellectually than they are emotionally. That's why often it helps if gifted kids can be mixed in with children of other ages who might be equal to them uh, intellectually so they are given the appropriate challenge. What happens in a regular class is a lot of times the gifted kids become bored and they're either acting out by not paying attention, turning away, disrupting the class, or sometimes volunteering to answer every question. Now the problem is acting out causes problems with the teacher, whereas volunteering to answer every question can sometimes cause problems with the other students. Often with a gifted child, they don't realize, especially when they're younger, that people do, don't always do things as fast as they do. Like there was one kid who, who the other kid was counting the, the number of pegs on the, on the die and the kid was saying, can't you do that? You know, what, can't you just tell that there's five there? And the teacher said, look, you know, some people can't. You tend to assume that everybody can do what you do. And that's one thing that gifted kids have to learn, not to make fun of anybody, not to direct somebody, even though the gifted child might think he or she is helping, the other kids will perceive it as bossy or they'll perceive it as critical and they won't want to play or hang out with that kid. So a lot of times the gifted child has to learn to appreciate their unique skills by going into special stimulating activities and also realizing that they shouldn't only define themselves by their intelligence because then when they encounter something that they can't do, let's say an athletic activity or something that doesn't require as much mental uh, ability, often they become frustrated too easily. That's where they have to learn that this is what a lot of the other kids experience trying to do the academic tasks. It's important to foster the gifted child's uniqueness while at the same time teaching them how to get along and take other people into consideration. If you do this, you'll find that you have a happy, healthy, and gifted child. I'm Dr. Jean Cirillo. I'm a practicing psychologist in New York.